Hello, tonight on Tabletop Commander, Land Destruction, led by Shattergang Brothers. Hi everyone, and welcome to another reboot video. This is my Land Destruction video that I had previously done. It is Jund in color, red, black, and green. And it is intended to destroy all of your opponent's lands, and basically it's a stacks deck. But, I should warn you now, I did put a little money into this deck. It's not cheap. It's not really consistent. It's just a, uh, something to annoy people with. So if you're really not looking for a deck to annoy people with, I, I suggest you just... Uh, maybe try something else. But if you want to see uh, this deck for laughs, or you're seriously looking for a land destruction build, uh, I invite you to continue watching. As is my my new policy, I'm leaving out the lands, not a generating lands out of my deck because it's pretty much however you want to put it. I use uh, shock lands, I use regular basic lands, you know, wh whatever you can find, whatever you can afford, just go ahead and use that. But there are a couple of utility lands that I want to present to you, perhaps before putting into your own deck. Uh, first, I have strip mine for its land destruction, of course. Wasteland, again, land destruction. Glacial chasm, this is good for protecting Bajuka Bog for some grave removal because everybody plays something to do with the grave so we may as well try to remove that for them. I play one Planeswalker, Garuk Wildspeaker. He is there for mana ramp as his two untap land ability and his minus one uh, green 3-3 three, three beast creature token ability. Because we play green going into enchantments, we definitely play Sylvan Library. And since this deck ramps like hell, Exploration, Burgeoning, I play a Squandered Resources. This is a very unused card, unloved card, that should really get more respect than it actually does. It lets you sack a land to add one mana of any color the sacrifice land could produce. So basically, it for one turn, for the price of your lands, will double how much land you have, or damage, double how much mana you have. This is excellent for when you're getting ready to destroy a massive number of lands. Hammer of uh, Perforos. This is in in the deck for haste as well as the creature tokens this also works well with shatter gang brothers I, I chose shatter gang brothers because of this card and because of tireless tracker which you'll see in a few minutes this will let me get rid of nasty mana rocks and stuff that my opponents play to keep their their mana down eternal witness because we're playing green and again always play eternal witness in green wall of blossoms for some good protection and some card draw. Birds of Paradise for some mana. Solemn Simulacrum because this is Commander and everybody plays Solemn Simulacrum. More Fetch with Sakura Tribe Elder. Sylvan Safekeeper lets you sack a land and give one of your creatures Shroud until the end of turn. Very, very handy dandy. Continuing in, in creatures, Tireless Tracker, as I mentioned a moment ago, it'll make clues. And with those clues, you can sack them to destroy mana rocks with Shatter Gang Brothers. Genesis, for getting our big beats back out of the graveyard if they're killed, as well as stuff like Eternal Witness and Tireless Tracker. Centaur Vine Crasher, this is one of our big beat cards. Basically, we want to wipe the board, drop this guy on the same turn, and just pummel the hell out of everyone. Terravore, same thing as the Ven Centaur Vine Crasher. The Gitrog Monster, also known as the Gitrog Frog or the Frog. I've heard him just called so many nicknames. This is for uh, drawing, for playing extra lands. This, this 
deck plays a ton of extra lands every turn. So he's just one of them. Azusa, same reason. Azusa lost with Seeking, playing extra lands each of my turns. Mina and Den Wildborn, same reason. Oracle Maldaya, same reason, playing extra lands. Realms Uncharted for snacking up some lands. Get those strip mine and all that good stuff out. <clears throat> Magma Quake because people's planeswalkers and creatures get really annoying and we need a little bit of control. Reclaim for getting stuff back. Crop Rotation, use this to get your strip mine out. Worldly Tutor for searching up one of those big beats when you need one. And we have Mana Crypt. Soul Ring. Lots of mana. Lots of mana rocks. Chrome Mox. Mox Opal. Lotus Petal. Dark Steel Ingot. Obelisk of Jund. Rakdo Signet. Gilded Lotus. Felwar Stone. Are we done yet? Nope. Ever Flowing Chalice. There we go. Lots of mana rocks. Ramp the hell out of this deck. Horn agreed because I guarantee you will be playing way more lands than your opponents, and this is huge. Scroll rack for some drawing of extra cards, sort of a sort of a pseudo Jace the Mind Sculptor. Moving on, Sensei's Divining Top because every deck needs a Sensei's Divining Top these days. Zurin Orb when you're getting ready to wipe out all those lands, you can sack them all, and gain a hell of a lot of life. Smokestack. I guess this technically makes us a stack stack now. Use this for wiping out what little creatures and land they have after you've done a big wipe. Storm Cauldron. If you can get this bad boy out on turn two or three, you might just have everyone scooping. This pretty much bounces all their lands back to their hands when they play them, and it's just really annoying for them. It doesn't really hurt you much, though. Crucible of Worlds, because we want to get those lands back that we've already destroyed or sacked to various things. Moving on, Sorceries, for more ramping, ramping, ramping. Cultivate, Kodama's Reach, Ramping Growth, Explosive Vegetation, think I have enough ramp? Too much ramp, maybe. Maybe it's time for some ramp to come out. Well, when I find some better cards to put in, maybe I'll take out one or two of those ramp cards. Deadly Tempest for more control. Earthquake, control. Read the Bones, great draw, great, great draw spell. Dark Petition for tutoring. Tutor for tutoring. Regrowth, getting stuff back. Seasons Past, we're getting lots of stuff back. Creeping Renaissance. Guess what? For getting stuff back. We usually choose lands, but uh, sometimes creatures also work well with that. Life from the Loam, again, for getting those lands back. Spend Splendid Reclamation, getting lands back. Now, the much talked about and seldom seen land destruction cards. I play Epicenter, Wildfire, Decree of Annihilation. I only cycle this to destroy the lands. I don't do all that exiling crap. That just that, that that just wouldn't work out at all. And Destructive Force. And that is my deck for today. It is a reboot deck, but I hope you enjoyed this more than the other version. That other version kind of sucked. So, like, subscribe, comment. Have a great day.